This one's kind of cool, different pace. The oldest surviving Porsche prototype from 1939 set to be auctioned off. And this is interesting. It's actually a Canadian firm that has it right now. This thing looks insane. Like, I can't believe somebody designed that in 1939. I have no idea what it's going to fetch at auction. Maybe there's an estimate there. But like, this thing looks like an actual spaceship. A dude made this out of sheet metal in 1939, built by Ferry Porsche, the actual guy, after the Second World War. Like, talk about vision. You want to talk about the, the Met Gala. This guy, just their imagination in the automotive segment, back then, it was like no rules. It was like, draw it up and let's see if we can do it. At least that's the way this product right here feels. So anyhow, it's going to go up for auction. The people who collect these things are wild. Like this is, I don't know if it'll be the most expensive car auctioned off ever. I mean, the guy, um, the guy who started Porsche, Ferdinand Porsche, was tasked by the Nazis to build an economic people's car. All right. That's the history of Porsche itself and the founder his son, Ferry Porsche, took it upon himself to design a race car Germany could use in competition. So this is the son of the guy who started the entire company who developed this. And so they're stating here it's the oldest surviving Porsche in the world. It's crazy. The lights still work. The headlights. The headlights still work. The electronics still work. I mean, it kind of looks like a fighter jet sort of of the era, like what they might have used. Uh, apparently it is 32 horsepower, <laughs> but it had a top speed of 173.5 kilometers an hour. Maybe because of how aerodynamic it is, it could just continue to, it doesn't look like it has a lot of drag on it once it picks up steam. So they don't give a speculation on what they think it's going to sell for. I'm sure there's some like automotive nuts in the comments that can make a comment on that and tell us what you think this thing could fetch, but... It's just crazy how cars nowadays have just become so similar comparative to this. Like you don't even notice it. You just get used to it. You're on the road. All, the, all these cars look alike. And then you got you, you just, you head back to 1939 and it's like, oh wait, man, there used to be some serious creativity in that space. Now who, uh, nowadays there's other, there's restrictions and yeah, you have a lot to, of safety protocols. You, you have the highway Institute and, and whatever else. And so there's obviously, it's, it's harder to do something like this, but cool nonetheless, I wanted to share it.